Here he goes. Center stage. 17,000 plus looking on for Connor Bedard. Well, you've seen Connor Bedard in front of 10,000 in Halifax. Another sold-out crowd a week and a half ago in Langley for the Top Prospects game. And now tonight, Frankie, a crowd like he's never played in front of before. A full house for the Connor Bedard show one night only in Calgary. You're about to play in front of 17,000 fans in the National Hockey League ring. What's going through your mind right now? Uh, I mean, in the end, it's another game, but it's definitely uh, you know, pretty cool to see all the people come out. And, uh, you know, the boys are pretty excited. Four-point game here, gentlemen. Four-point game. This team that we can catch should be right in our sights here. So let's go out and play like it. Mania was like, but this is Bedard Mania, and everyone's going to be a benefactor of that tonight. All these players, it's a really special moment for them to play in front of a full NHL building. Calgary opened the score, but less than a minute later, Bedard Mania was on full display. <laughs> Bedard forge here by Keegan Schlaney. Gets it back, scores! Connor Bedard from out of nowhere. Snaps it top shelf of the game's tied at one. Momentum continued to shift throughout the game. The 2024 draft eligible defenseman Carter Yakumchuk capitalizes in tight to give the Hitman the lead at the end of the first. Chagall rebound and Tolk Friend on it, loose at the side, scores! And it's Yakumchuk who's the last on it to slip it home for Calgary. The Pats work it back to even in the third, thanks to Washington Capitals prospect Alexander Suzdalev. Pass is off for Aremba. Back to Suzdalev with a backhand, scores! Alexander Suzdalev and the game is tied at three. A goal in the back half of the third by London Hoylet pushes the Hitman in front setting up a wild end to the third. Directed wide of the net, Rowan looks to center, out to Bedard, shot and it's stopped in the crease, still loose, and the play is whistled down. But Bedard thought he had it. And the play is under review, Frankie, we've already seen one of these already tonight. And it's a goal! Connor Bedard knew. <laughs> He knew that was in the net. We'd shift to an exciting three-on-three -three overtime with both teams nearing a game winner. Into the corner again, out to Bedard. Shot, big save from Peters. Wow. One ten to go in overtime as the power play expires. Ultimately, overtime would solve nothing, so on to the shootout. The first three shooters would miss, setting the stage for 98. Here he goes. Center stage, 17,000 plus looking on for Connor Bedard. And he scores! And Regina take the lead in the second round of the shootout. Drew Sims stood tall, and Regina would escape Calgary with a Wednesday night win on TSN. Yeah, it's uh, you know, it's cool that you know, people people like me and stuff. And obviously, some people probably didn't like me in the building. So, uh, <laughs> but you know, it's it's uh, it's obviously cool when you get out there and uh, you know, there's all those people. And uh, you know, for our whole group, it's just uh, you know, exciting to be able to be part of that. And we get set to go, Blazers and the Seattle Thunderbirds. 
Back across the line, left wing, Davis on a hard blast, he scores! Sidor, trailer, Hofer, score! Allen rips a shot, and he will score! Players who come to the Western Hockey League obviously are interested in pursuing their hockey careers and, and going as far in the system as they possibly can, whether that's turning professional or other opportunities that present themselves. But the scholarship program is equally important because it gives the players an opportunity to pursue their academic goals at the same time. I'm understanding now what the average student has to go through to graduate, um, the WHL provides or relieves you of that stress um, to allow you to succeed in the classroom. The Western Hockey League is back on the air. Welcome inside Prospero Place in Kelowna. Three degrees in the downtown core. Rockets and tips. Vandro Crystal wearing sweater number 28. Back in the Rocket lineup after missing 14. Yeah, um, I mean, missing the games, obviously, you know, it's, it's tough. And, in, in, you know, a big year like this, missing, uh, you know, uh, quite a few games. It's, it's hard to watch, and especially, you know, when the, the team's not doing great, it's hard to just kind of sit back and, um, and just take it. Well, I mean, AC, whenever he's on the ice, is creating something. Whether he's doing it himself or or putting it on a, a platter for a teammate, it's always something offensively uh, driven. So when he was when he was out, we dearly missed him. Here's Stuchas Seal left on in front. This guy! Welcome back, Andrew Crystal! Your first game back and a beautiful goal, and the Rockets have taken a 2 nothing lead. Um, I mean, coming back, it was definitely, uh, you know, I didn't really have too many ex expectations. Um, I felt pretty good, obviously, and. Um, yeah, I, just, I got pretty, uh, some pretty nice passes that I was able to capitalize on. Stewart's on a 2 and one inside for Chris Oleska! He's a 17-year-old player, and, 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 you know, we're riding his coattails, essentially, because, like I said, he creates every time he's on the ice. Crystal got it free, left face up, down to the middle. Here's the shot, Oleska! For the first time in his WHL career, it's a hat trick marker for Andrew Crystal. Kid takes it out of center, lead feed. Here's Crystal, wide open goal. He'll score! Andrew Crystal, empty net, his fourth goal of the hockey game. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you could write a better script, I guess, but um, some of the guys were joking in the room that, you know, maybe I'd get a hat tonight. I think Wags and Carmi put it in the air, so uh, maybe someone was listening, and I got a couple bounces out there, so um, it was good. I wouldn't have suspected it, but uh, it's really nice to have Riding a three-game win streak since Crystal's return, the Kelowna Rockets hit the road to Central Alberta for a date with the defending WHL champions, the Edmonton Oil Kings. All right, man, I want to see five in the picture all night. When we get into the offensive zone, I want you guys to work it. I want you guys to move, but then coming back, we're winning our races. Our D-gap is unbelievable tonight. Our track and our F3, impeccable. We get back into our zone, we stop in our spots, we do our job, we trust it. A lot of, a lot of people in the stands tonight. Let's use that to our advantage. Let's make sure that our emotions are controlled, we're disciplined, our shift lengths are on point, and we're ready to roll. Homegrown uh, beef tonight, oh. right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we got Goldie! Yeah. Yeah. Not just yeah. Earls! Yeah. Izzy! Yeah. Carmi! Yeah. Yeah. And Mike's! Yeah. 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 Let's go, Eddie. Yeah. Yeah. It's the Oil Kings and the Rockets coming to you for the first time since November of 2019. The Rockets start the road trip on the right foot, pouncing on an Oil Kings mistake less than 10 minutes in. Cunningham out to handle it in behind his little backhand turned over, centering feed, Rashad scores. In his first return to Edmonton, and on the night he receives his WHL championship ring, Carson Golder misses a golden opportunity to beat his old team. 
but early in the second, he gets another chance. Feeds it up high, Price delays with it, gives on Crystal Bumps in front, Golder one-timer scores! Carson Golder on the power play, and the Kelowna Rockets extend their lead to two. Despite a 3-0 lead after 40 minutes of play, head coach Chris Millette isn't content with his group's fundamentals. Good job, Boyks. It's the only reason right now this score isn't any closer. Hey? Not acceptable. Our habits, our details, not acceptable. Our compete on the puck, not acceptable. Our decisions that we're making coming out of our zone, not acceptable. You guys can't just play down to a team's freaking standard. You cannot do that and expect to just walk on them. We're setting ourselves up. Yeah, we're up 3 nothing. I don't give a f I do not give a damn that we're up 3 nothing right now. Our structure is suffering. Our compete on loose pucks, suffering. Penalties, brutal. Only reason, this guy. You guys have to set yourselves up for 20 minutes. Not for now, but for tomorrow, because if you want to play this way, we'd be down 10 nothing. Compete, make simple plays, stay out of the middle of the ice. Stop trying to make it showtime. You do it with structure, you play this period with structure, and you will tear them apart. Not good enough. Expect more. Let's get to work. Point shot, Carmichael wide off the end boards, and it goes in. And they got another power play goal and a 4-0 lead. But that will do it for the hockey game. The Kelowna Rockets will pick up a 4-0 win. 27 save shuttle for Talon Boyko. That's a great win. It's a great start to the trip. That's the way we wanted to go, but now we celebrate for 10, 15 minutes. Get the f out of here and back to my beer. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm super, super happy I made the decision to go to the WHL, and uh, you know, I was super lucky to to land in Regina. It's just so cool to kind of look at look at all the names on the wall of this historic franchise, obviously, and uh, to have my name there is, is really special. But Arzaloni scores! You know, it's such a first-class organization there, and uh, I've been able to kind of enhance my development, I think, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. So uh, I've really enjoyed it, and I'm happy that uh, you know I decided to go the Western Western route. From the Ice Cave, the Western Hockey League is on the air tonight. It's the Winnipeg Ice and the Saskatoon Blades. It's Benson trying to do it himself. Benson, he's in, he scores! Blue line, right for Pillar, one time he scores! Hey, Josh Pillar! Yeah. Benson's back, there he scores! Were you wearing the Michael Lassie or no? No. Yeah, you couldn't tell? He didn't swear until the third. <laughs> no, he wasn't. <laughs> yeah, he was. In the intermission. Oh. Okay, so just a couple uh, real quick. Off their face off, center likes to jump the high flank. So let's make sure you can watch this here. I think this is uh, Fabrizi on the hard rim. Their winger takes off. They ran that multiple times, and then obviously their center coming underneath. They're trying to take off and create offense off a one draw. It's important that we get to the dots as quick as possible. They'll pressure you up ice, one, two. Okay, so look where the stick is, recognize. You guys tried to force it way too much last night. You take what's given and that's down low, keep your feet above the goal line so you can attack quick. And then obviously this one, Johnny did tip it everybody. What? Johnny tipped it. Wow. Yes, he did. Johnny tipped it. Look, look at him. Yep, I tipped it. That's what it was. It was on the initial shot, the tip. No, off the initial, listen, off the initial point shot, he hits it and it bobbles. 100%. Hey, hey, who cares? Goal is a goal and we'll take two PP goals, okay? Here we go. Alongside highly ranked NHL draft prospect Andrew Crystal is defenseman Caden Price. Price's game has seen consistent development over his last two seasons with the Rockets, representing Canada and winning gold for his country at both the U-17 Capital City Challenge and the U-18 Holinka Gretzky Cup. Yeah, he's been awesome for the past two years. Um, I mean, I think for him he's just improved so much since the start of last season. 
um, you know, he looks so confident out there and, and he's able to move the puck quick and, you know, get up ice and, um, you know, he's great stick defensively too. So, I mean, he's, uh, I think, just showing a lot more confidence and he's definitely, you know, a lot more comfortable now. For him, he's logging a lot of minutes for us right now, um, playing in all situations and, and really growing as a, as a young defenseman um, in all facets of the game. So, he's been... Uh, it's, it's been fun to watch his maturation, and it's going to be really exciting to watch uh, as the years progress. Hey, it's a great opportunity for us to show the league right now that the Rockets are coming in hot. Okay, We did a good job yesterday doing what we were supposed to do. Today's no different. It's got to be a greasy road win. Everybody dial in. Let's go. Come on, man. Give me the same as usual, short. Sweet, yep. Like a yellow. Just like that, John. Just like that. That's perfect, guys. Yeah. Oh, bro, we got two back. Yeah. Jordy. Yeah. Goldie. Yeah. Carney. Yeah. Rochi. Yeah. 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 Let's start that rumor. Let's go, Will. Hey. Yeah. Hey, Turner. Get a few. Turner. Get a few pucks on net. Yep. 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 It's the final home game of February as the Rebels welcome back to town the Kelowna Rockets. Less than three minutes in, not the start the Rockets were hoping for. Puck back toward the Kelowna net back end. Josephson scores! The slow start would be a detriment to the Rockets as the Rebels continue to find the back of the net. eventually clinch a playoff spot. They end their three-game home ice losing skit with a 5-1 victory over the Kelowna Rockets. So yeah, uh, we went. We go to Olive Garden usually on the Seattle trip and uh, I knew I wasn't playing the next day so I think all the boys, I was a rookie and all the boys wanted me to challenge it and I can eat pretty pretty good amount of food so I, uh, I started going and, and I was got to like, I think it was like 18 or 20 around there and uh, Coach Chris, he, he cut me off. He told the waiter I was done for the day. No more breadsticks to the table. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's I've been with the team for for nine years. So every time that we we are on the road, uh, on the way to either Everett or Seattle, we stop at Olive Garden, and um, it's it's been an elusive uh, a number, a high number. And now that uh, you know, yeah, it was it was a big number, and. <laughs> I had to put a halt to it for sure because I think that kid would have kept going. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty dialed in. Um, I mean, the record was pretty high, but he was he was going pretty strong. And then I think Mally cut him cut him off after a certain one because we had a playoff game coming up. But uh, yeah, he was uh, he was doing pretty well. And then uh, unfortunately came to a, to an end. But uh, yeah, it was pretty funny. But I think a record set by Hamilock. Uh, I don't know how many he got, like mid twenties, I think. But. Yeah, I was still going. I think I could have got it, but uh, yeah, I guess we'll maybe another time. The kid can eat, and um, you know, I, I I set a max now every time we go in because everybody wants a piece of it. Fellas, we are only as good as our gap tonight, right? That means forwards as well. I want to see you guys in the picture all the time. Let's smother, be on top of these guys with our F3. We saw in the video, the track, we got to kill plays before the red. So that means we're going to stand up, play confident so that we can go back into the offensive zone and make sure that we're playing with passion down there and bearing down on those details. We had a couple tap-ins last night that we missed, right? We've got to make sure that tonight, those are ones we're putting in the back of the freaking net. But guys, we got to stay disciplined tonight. All right, play five on five. When we have opportunity, let's make the most of it. Hey, I want to sing a song tonight. Let's go, man. Come on up.
getting back on track after a tough game in Red Deer, Price and Crystal combined to set up Golder to put the Rockets up early. Here's Crystal, out to the blue line. Price, back over the right side. Golder on the power play, the shot, he scores! Carson Golder! And the Kelowna Rockets, two minutes and two seconds into the first period, have jumped out to a one to nothing lead. They continue the strong first. Former Hitman player Adam Kidd with a beautiful assist to give Kelowna a two goal lead heading into the first intermission. Crystal trying to work it ahead to Kidd, looking to split the defense, took a slash penalty coming to Calgary, Kidd to the trailer, Whiteman scores! Two nothing Kelowna as they strike on the rush. We've got to stay disciplined, you know we've got a few right off the bat, you know they're going to try and even it up. Play it between the whistles, you got to stay hard on them. I like the wall play, right? The support underneath the puck. We came out as a unit of five. Let's make sure that we're continuing to make smart decisions. Continue this 60, long change, be aware. Let's go. As the second begins, Calgary starts to find a crack in the armor. Here comes Brandon Wynott off the right circle, the shot, he scores! Turn on the red light, Brandon Wynott has put Calgary on the board. The Hitmen outshoot the Rockets in the second and continue their push. Goaltender Yari Kikkanen does his best to evade the pressure, but an unfortunate bounce midway through the third evens the score. Why not to the right side? Here's Anasinski, the shot, save made by Kikkanen. Rebound, Fiddler Schultz, scores! It's a bounce, and it's a tie game for Calgary. Late in the third, anxious moments for Kelowna. Patterson loads up a shot, Kick of the bounce in front. Hoyland spilled out in front, there'll be a penalty to Carmichael with 2.02 left. Elias Carmichael heading to the penalty box and the Calgary Hitman heading to the power play. Yakimchuk walking in, slap shot, head save, rebound, cleared away. Puck goes to the corner, Price on the glass, he'll get it out and this game will go to overtime. Cologne has got a three on one to win it. Crystal, Golder, Rocek, Crystal, sauce pass, deflected down to Peters, he makes the save and he holds on. Merrick Rocek, he'll bring it up the right side, just one goal this year, centered at a chance, off the outside of the net. Crystal defends him off, brought it down the line, step inside, Yakubchuk to the net, the glove save made by Peters, rebound, he spun around. Yakubchuk in the slot, right circle, Chagall back door, missing Tolk, centered it, Yakubchuk can't reach it, and overtime. Although, serving up many adrenaline moments, solves nothing. With still no score in the shootout, Millett calls for number 28. Projected first round NHL pick, 30 goals this year. Wide right into the Calgary zone, attacks the net to the back end of the forehand. Peters down and Crystal scores! More moves than you can imagine. Crystal makes it one nothing Kelowna. One more stop, and Kelowna will head home with four of six points on the road trip. Here he comes, in off the left wing, kicking in well out to challenge, Tulk the forehand deep, head save, kicking in. Yeah. And the Kelowna Rockets have won it, 3-2 in a shootout. Yeah, you guys, the stack on no Hey, way to end it in style, right? It's, a, it's to be expected. Sat back a little bit. Yari, hell of a fucking game. Set. But uh, guys, it's a great road trip. We're doing what we need to do. We're building slowly and uh, keep moving up those standings. Good job, fellas. Hey, good luck. Good job. Good job, man. On the next episode of WHL Behind the Scenes 2023 Road to Nashville. Game seven, the season is on the line.